This is just a really quick tutorial for building the perform functions into a prop, whatever the prop uh, might be, so that way you can use it uh, for later um, with the right clip perform function or convert it to an accessory if you're going to be doing it for something like a uh, character for something like wings or anything of that sort of sort. So just for the purpose of illustration, I'm going to do a very simple um, animation and uh, we're going to go ahead and just grab a regular building block. We'll use the box here. I'm just going to uh, scale this out into roughly the shape of uh, a door for the purposes of uh, this demonstration. Now one of the things when you're doing the actual perform functions when you want to save the the clip you want to make sure that you're looking down around the uh, the actual transform that you have it all set to the um, basically the middle of the stage the uh, the zero point on the stage and I'm also going to reset the uh, the transform so that everything is all even at a uh, hundred after me resizing it so it's now at the middle of our pay or our stage and now we're going to be able to create some animations onto this particular thing so I'm going to do this as a door so opening and closing both ways uh, as the perform function and for that right now if you look at it we have it tilting um, in the middle of the prop in this particular case we don't want that we want it to be in the bottom uh, left side of the prop so that way when we swing it's going to swing on that uh, from that pivot point uh, for our animation itself so I'm gonna go ahead and open up my timeline here just so I'm gonna very simply from this point which is the uh, static point I'm going to come out uh, let's say 50 and that's going to be uh, the open position so now when we're gonna play that through our timeline that door is gonna open so I'm okay with that and then we're going to just have that set there I'm just gonna add another keyframe over here just for I just like doing that for my own purposes for when I'm collecting the uh, the separate clips and then we're going to put this one out here and return it back to the uh, zero position on the um, on the axis itself now if you notice here when I uh, change the uh, pivot point um, itself I should have brought this back to zero before making my animations because like I said I want everything to be from the center stage so we don't want to have anything uh, causing it to do any funky movements or anything of that nature uh, down the road so we'll go back and create our animation again at this point we'll put it into the open position and then we're gonna put this back to the closed position so now we're going to set up for the collect clip itself we're gonna grab this first one and we're gonna call that open and then we're gonna come over here and grab that next one and we're gonna add that to the motion library and call that closed so now we have our two animations so now if we can wipe out our keyframes there and now if you look at this prop with the right click you'll have the perform function you can open the door and then anywhere along that timeline then you can go ahead and perform the closed uh, function so that's basically a very simple uh, animations for it now we can go ahead and save that prop and you can just add it into your scenario so that way if you're going to call it door one in this case so now in the future if you ever wanted to bring that prop out you will now have a prop that will have the uh, built-in functions and you put it anywhere in your stage and when you're performing the uh, function itself well you can see there that I had uh, the little glitch in my animation which was a uh, sizing constraint 
um, issue that I had there. Uh, that was just a little glitch on the actual um, monitor. So uh, there you have it. I hope that was uh, useful and uh, informative for you.